filter, help me out. There we go. I'll take it. Hey! Hey! Hi you guys! I feel like I haven't seen you forever! Taking a break. No, I'm not drinking. It's empty. <laughs> no wine of the week. This week because it's 12 noon in the morning. 12.03. I'm almost on time. Hi you guys! My name is Anuhia, and I used to do this little thing called keeping it real while maintaining the aloha every single Monday or Tuesday for about six months. And I haven't done it in so long, but I just wanted to check in with you guys, my faithful Anu Jammers, tell you guys Happy New Year, and um, just share a couple of things that have been happening. I've been so insanely busy, and that was kind of why I put off doing it every week. And it was just a lot of pressure, and I felt kind of scatterbrained, and yet I'm still here kind of scatterbrained. Um, literally rushing through the door to get this live on time because I told you I would be here at noon I have to be here at noon but I had a crazy morning but I just wanted to kind of touch base and tell you guys what's up happy new year everybody I see you Ursula I see you Jason Tremaine's in the house why Connie Trace Tanya what's up Eric Ross how you guys nice to see you Aureliana um, yep, and Rev Reverend, Reverend, yep, we, Reverend GT, we were just in Seattle, that's amazing. And yeah, we are, we are indeed Grammy nominated. Um, the Hawaiian Lullaby album, put together by my best friend Kimia Minor, is up for a Grammy, so we I have a track on it, so we'll all be getting dressed up and heading to LA on January 26th, and we're gonna be in the Regional Roots category, that's been exciting. Um, but hey, let me just kind of get it together. Um, I'm here today to talk about Reflection and then goals for the new year. This has been one of the best years of my life, you know, on paper. And I'm happy, I'm so happy, but it's also been so stressful. And like, I know that this new decade needs some, I need to have some big changes. Otherwise, I'm not going to survive another 10 years in this industry because I just kind of burnt myself out by making by having bad habits so that's kind of what i want to look forward to in this next decade i want to be able to continue making music and do what i love to do for a long long time but unless i make some foundational changes my foundation is gonna crack it's like that Marin morris song the house is something if the bones are good you know what i mean you gotta have a good foundation underneath it all so anyway last year on january 6th 2019 one of my best friends Kaimana Brummel there she is right there she's actually my maid of honor in my wedding she had a party at her house in Maui and it was called the my 19 for 2019 party and all these women Manawahines from all over various walks of life on Maui came together and had a like a girl party there was wine there was good food and we all wrote down our 19 goals for the year 2019 i kind of want to and i put it in a blog and i used this as kind of the subject of my very first keeping it real while maintaining the aloha you know live stream back in january of 2019 also so i'm gonna like share mine with you just to kind of laugh and see if i got enough right um i got enough right if i accomplished you know my goals or my resolutions so my number one thing was to be more punctual. My number one thing was to be more punctual. If you guys follow me, you know that I'm not very punctual. <laughs> I still gotta work on that. I was only three minutes late to today's promise of 12 noon, but usually I'm about 10 to 15. My band always tells me I'm at least 17 minutes late to lobby call. But my mentality is like, I could be throwing the bags and just getting in the way because I can be a cook in the kitchen. I just wanna let them do it. So that's why I'm late. I always have an excuse. But yeah, I want to be more punctual. My son was tardy. I just got his report card. Tardy for school eight times this past quarter. That's my fault. Like, get it together, mom. So yeah, I'm going to work on that. Still going to work on it into 2020. So I'm going to say I did not accomplish that. Um, number two, make the Aloha Always Foundation an official nonprofit. If you guys know me, I had this Aloha Always Foundation that I started two years ago. And I did super rootsy, organic, grassroots fundraising basically allocating my own money and then doing like concerts and not getting paid just so that I can give all the money to this foundation. And I would 
accept applications from all kinds of amazing Hawaii students and then I'd pick some winners and they didn't necessarily have to be the, the best GPA or you know the best SAT score but if they told me their story and I felt that they had this amazing aloha spirit and resiliency and hustle and effort they got some money and um, I loved doing it it was a lot 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 of hard work and I don't know, I didn't have enough time to really take it to the level I wished I could, but it was never officially made a nonprofit because again, of the time. And if I was able to make it a nonprofit, I could be receiving so much more uh, support and donations from other nonprofits and I could be helping other nonprofits. I feel like it's a full-time job that I need to focus on. So I really, really wanna do that. But I don't, this past year was just way too wild for me to have gone through it because it's only me and, and my manager helps a bit too, but it's just, it's tough. I've got to work on that. So it's not an official nonprofit. We did award more money than we did the first year. So I'm going to say that's like half accomplished because we kept it going. The Aloha Owens Foundation was a success this year, but it was not an official, official 401c nonprofit. If anyone has any advice or wants to help me out there, please let me know because I did get some assistance from volunteers on Maui, but I got I to gotta get more. Um, okay, number three of my 19 for 2019, if you're just tuning in, was to award 10K in scholarships this year. Okay, yep, we definitely did that one. Okay, big fat check on that one. We did. We, we awarded about $15,000 in scholarships this past year. And I have so much more to post about the amazing people that were recipients, but I haven't gotten it around to. But I can tell you more about them so that they continue to inspire others. Develop the Aloha OS Foundation merchandise. Wow, I had a lot of Aloha OS goals. So develop the Aloha OS Foundation merchandise line more because it's a great fundraising tool for the foundation. Yeah, no, I didn't really do that that much. I had two big events, one in Las Vegas and one on Maui, or two on Maui technically. Actually, three on Maui technically, but we did not really do the merchandise that much. I got a patch and I had a shirt and like some baby gear, but that's about it. I want to say that's half full, half accomplished. Have more consistent communication with my fans. Blog, vlog. I think I would say I did accomplish it. At least toward the beginning part of the year. Last year. Because I started this keeping it real. And I, you know, was giving away prizes to people. Even though I wasn't always. I kind of stopped negging myself. I gave away prizes to you guys. I did so many meet and greets. I did. A, I tried to up, keep a blog every week. But it turned into every so often, but I felt more active on social media and that was important for me. And guess what? You guys felt the love because you guys voted me as female artist of the year for the Island Music Awards. And I won the female vocalist of the year at the Nohoku Hano Hano Awards. So those, that vibe, that connection that I felt, you felt it too, apparently, because I, I, I feel it. So I'm gonna say that's a yes, I did it. It's not over, just getting started. Number six, I wanted to mend my family relationships. It's kind of heavy, kind of deep. I'd say I, I, I'd say I did. Some got worse before they got better, but as of right now, honestly, vibes are great. Vibes are better than ever. So I will take that as a yes. It's a consistent, it's never like always gonna be mended, as you know with family and any relationship. It takes, you have to water. You have to water it and give it sunlight. So I'll continue working on that. Um, number seven was to run another half marathon. I did it! I totally did! I did the Hapalua Half Marathon, which is the biggest half marathon in the state of Hawaii. It was on Oahu. The year prior, I had done my very first one, which was the Big Island International Marathon. Half marathon, though. Uh, and so I, I kind of got addicted to it, and I did the half marathon. It was pretty fun and pretty cool. And I know a couple of Anu Jammers said hi to me out there, so you might be listening. I love the song. Chronic. Okay, I wanted to start my son on piano lessons or something performing arts wise. So I I reached out to a few people and looked into having him be like in drama or plays, but there really aren't any in Kailua Kona where we live. Um, there's some in Kahilu Theater I've, I've heard, but I haven't looked, I haven't dived in and I know it's only like one time a year and I think we missed the cutoff when I had checked. Um, and then, but I did enroll him in a very awesome private Christian 
kindergarten. It's an elementary school, but they're very like theatrical. They do like Christmas plays, they do Thanksgiving play. He was Squanto in his kindergarten Thanksgiving play and he had like a line. And he's just a funny kid. I brought him on stage with me multiple times, including at the big hole Laulea where there was like 20,000 people and my son was Fortnite dancing and flossing and all that. So although there was not, um, piano lessons he did get some performing arts in there so i'm gonna give that a three quarter check boom i'm gonna continue pushing because my son is kiaka mcgee all right i wanted to get a new passport because my last one was fully unrecognizable and it got me stranded at customs in aotearoa but yeah it expired this year so i definitely did get a new passport um my picture is i it's i but whatever i'm stuck with it for the next 10 so i'm gonna give myself a check for that passport um, number 10 was for me to grow flowers and herbs. I didn't grow any flowers, but I did grow grass. If you followed me before, I was talking about how my grass, this patch of grass in my backyard just will not grow. And I just like worked, the, I worked the land for weeks and just was consistent, even though I didn't really see results right away. And then all of a sudden, boom, this grass patch. And now it's like raging back there. So, so yeah, I'm going to give that another three quarter check because it wasn't herbs and flowers but I traveled too much for herbs and flowers but the grass that was great my number 11 was to volunteer with kids young ones and then I said don't make me expand or I'll cry again I guess I cried last year doing my 19 for 2019 but yeah I would say I I could do more with kids but I have volunteered with my son's class multiple times um, not only visiting to just sing songs and play music, but I was helping them learn a song in Lugandan, which is the native language of Uganda, which is one of his classmates' birth country. She was adopted from Uganda. And so we had the class learn a song in Lugandan. So we did Jesus Loves Me. Yesu Anjagala, Yesu Anjagala. And I learned how to play the cajon. So that I, me, Ikena's mom, Auntie Anu, I was just slapping away on that cajon. And the kids performed it and it was super cute. And just having a relationship with them and walking around school and like being like, hi, Ikena's mom, like, hi kids. Like, it's like the best. It's the most rewarding, amazing feeling when kids feel you and they appreciate you so i want to do that more let's continue i'm gonna check that one off there could be more though um re-establish new standards with my business i'd say i did that having i have two businesses actually i guess i have like yeah two because i have my on here live llc and then on here jams llc one is for touring and like merchandise and anything that we do on the road, like paying for hotels and paying my van. And then one is called Anuja ja Jams, which is like the back end income from um, music, you know, like what you get from people listening to your stuff on iTunes and CD sales and stuff. So it's good to have those two differences when you're having, when you're running a music business. And I can share this with anybody else who's, you know, in the industry, because it helps separate that for tax purposes and for expenditures and anything you partner up with somebody too, it can help make it very, very clear. Uh, but I want, I really wanted to get, get it more under control, get the accounting because I'm doing everything myself and it's like really hard and exhausting. I have an awesome manager, but he too, we just get too busy. So I wanted to have like an accountant help me. Um, I have not had that yet. We have a tax guy. That's been nice, but it's still a struggle because my businesses are actually from Seattle because it's better tax laws in Washington state. So I might want to transfer that to Hawaii and just eat it because it's just more close to home. I can go to the bank down the road rather than go having to mail my checks to Seattle. Am I giving you way too much information? I have somebody like, some IRS person's watching me right now, like, hmm, um, it's legit, I swear it is. Um, I'll talk more about that later though, the music business. Um, I wanted to take more fashion risks. I feel like I started to, and then I kind of got over it. But I did, um, I did get long hair, and I'm going for dreadlocks pretty soon. Is that a fashion risk? I don't know. I'll say I did take fashion risks. I wore white like to the hokus, which was kind of big for me, I guess. It's kind of random and strange. And then, I don't know. We'll talk about that later too. I don't want to go about my fashion stories right now with no pictures or anything to reference. Um, number 14, encourage and inspire my family and loved ones. Ooh, I think I did that. I brought my little sister um, on tour and it was kind of a good thing, but kind of a bad thing. Just 
when you work with your siblings because sometimes it can get too close for comfort. Um, but my mother recently quit her job that she was working for a big company and is now doing the exact same thing, but she's her own boss. And she told me that I inspired her to just take the plunge, you know, like having your own health care was a big problem for her. She was nervous about that. Like, oh, I don't want to, I want somebody to help me, you know, with my ta with my taxes and, and health care and stuff. But I'm like, mom, if you can just figure out how to do that yourself, you can don't have to give someone else a cut. So she's like, you're right, you're right. So she now has her own company. So by the way, if anyone wants to remodel kitchens on the island of Maui, go to MJ Design because my mom is the bomb. She literally is the best of the best. And she's been working in the industry for as long as I can remember. And I want her to do my kitchen if and when I buy a house someday. Actually, that brings me to my next goal. <laughs> Start saving for a down payment on a house. Yeah. Well... I was saving for a down payment on a house, and then somebody had to go and ask me to marry them. So now all that money is going toward our wedding, but it's really exciting and cool. Jordan and I got engaged this past June, and now we've just been wedding planning and paying for everything. It's freaking expensive, but it's really cool and really exciting. We're about less than, wait, why don't we go? less than two months away. Oh my God, like seven weeks away, I think. Oh my God, <gasps> oh, crazy, I can't believe it. Yeah, so after the wedding, we'll see how much money we get and then we'll put another down payment on the house. No, I'm just kidding. But no, we are insisting that that anyone, like don't buy us like things. We don't want, you guys don't want you guys to like buy us items. We just, you know, want them to come to our wedding. But if people do want to give us gifts, we want them to, help us with that goal of ours so we'll see how that happens we're just inviting close family and friends and everybody loves us oh my god i feel stupid asking for anything ever like registry i always feel so dumb even for my baby shower stuff i felt like bad like oh, i want to tell you what to get me shit all right i wanted to go on a vacation that was another uh, goal of mine i didn't really go on a vacation everything was associated. oh what am i talking about yes i did i totally did we went on a cruise we went on a freaking cruise out of Miami to the Caribbean and Mexico with Jordan's family. This was in like March with my son, Jordan, his parents, his brother, and his brother's now fiance. And I was totally vlogging. I even vlogged like this from our cruise ship room. Was anybody, uh, was anybody watching that? <laughs> I remember that was crazy. I think I drank a little too much wine that particular one. Um, I wanted to pray daily. I think I've been praying more in 2019 than I had in 2018. But I think in 2020, I can pray even more. We pray every night before we eat dinner, for sure. We pray before every show now, like for sure. Like we usually, we used to, and then we like kind of stopped. But now before every show this past year and, and even into the new year, my band and I, we all hold hands. And no matter what religion you are, no matter what denomination, you just have to get that vibe together and get your head straight and just mostly just to give thanks first and foremost. Just give thanks and gratitude for where you are because I learned this today in yoga and I want to repeat it. Joy doesn't spark gratitude. Gratitude sparks joy. Joy doesn't spark gratitude. Gratitude sparks joy. I love it. Anyway, do more women empowerment, goal setting and educational get togethers and workshops. Wow, that was one of my goals. So, um, no, I didn't. I didn't do any of that, I don't think. No, see, that's why I was so inspired because this picture was taken, you know, at a women's empowerment, goal setting and get together, but with other Manawahine of Maui, but I, I haven't gone to a single one since. I had a kind of a wild roller coaster of emotions this past year, to be honest. Got into some like breakups with friends and then mendings again. It's been like, it's been in intense and same thing with families, but I think that it's just growth. Everyone's just growing and figuring out new boundaries for each other as friendships and growing and outgrowing, but also maybe finding other people in their lives to fill voids that they need. And 
I think that there's nothing wrong with that. But um, yeah, I haven't, I was kind of more introverted this past year rather than extroverted with friends. I didn't do a lot of like go out with friends kind of stuff. And that will bring me to one of my goals for this next upcoming year, which I'll share with you next. Then my last goal for 2019 was to write, record, and release more music. Well, I didn't write too much music, but I did release my A10 Best of Anuhea 10th anniversary album this past year. And I got it in right before the end of the year. I got it in November 1st, and I looked on, I got the, the numbers back from Island Heritage, and it was like the seventh best-selling CD at Walmart's in the month of December, so that's kind of cool. Like under like Israel Kamaka Viva Ole was like always up there. Josh Tatofi was like always up, up there. Hawaiian Lullaby album, which I'm honored to be a part of also. And the green, I think the green was right below me actually, but who cares? Um, Cause theirs is older, mine was new, so it should have been higher, but you know, the green is the shit. But yeah, this album, we've been working super hard, even though it was a best of album, I didn't have to like record more stuff. I did record three, three remixes and just getting the art together, working with Colleen Wilcox, who's the artist who painted this beautiful painting. Um, as you can see, that's the original right there in my corner. I have the original from my Butterflies album too, which she also painted the cover of my Butterflies live album back in like 2012. So I'm stoked, I'm honored that we were able to release this product. So I'm gonna put a check on that that I released more music. Oh my God, I don't care. The past is the past. We're talking about the new year now. <clears throat> I don't want to stay on this too long because I'm supposed to pick up my son, but I just wanted to tell you guys, like, in case you're wondering what the hell I'm doing. So I just did 19 for 2019 last year. This year, we're going to do 20 for 2020. So you're going to do it too. It's really, really, really great because I feel like writing down with a pen on paper is so effective, not just typing it or doing it on a note. Like it's proven too, like manifesting it when you're writing it. I mean, I can, I should have like counted the percentage and what grade I got on my 19, but it really doesn't matter anymore because I'm only looking at the future, but it's good to reflect. But I'm just saying like writing it down, I, I got most of those, I did most of those things. I would have never, like imagine that I would have like mended my family relationship or gone on a vacation like when I was writing them down but I didn't so sky's the limit guys like don't I would I should have wrote be nominated for a Grammy I thought that wasn't even possible but I just got nominated or I'm a part of a nominated album like so I'm just saying nothing should hold you back nothing so just write them write them down I'm gonna write I'm gonna write like three of them with you right now and then I'll come back and share the rest of my completed list. So I'm gonna repeat number one again, be more punctual, which means be more on time in case you don't know. Be more punctual. I think just being on time helps you in every way get in the right head space. Like I sometimes don't like being too early because I figure it's like, oh, you're sitting around and waiting, but honestly, it's better that way. And I've, I talked about this in a previous vlog too, because there's a woman that Oprah was interviewing where she's talking about on, as the plane is about to take off, the plane always goes through, you know, and goes through the different jetways and then finally it stops and then it pauses. And then it, and it does something amazing. It fucking lifts off the ground and flies away. Like it's a miracle, but it, that pause is important. It's like, it's taking a breath. Like, here we go. And I think being punctual will help me do that. Example real fast, this morning, I went to, to go to yoga. It was the first time I went to the 90-minute the Bikram class at 7.30 a.m. I've been going to the 9 a.m. class, which is only one hour. As you know, Bikram is a series of poses in the super hot yoga room. And I was always like intimidated, a little nervous to go because I don't know who's gonna be there and like, oh, is it gonna be awkward? Well, today I was looking everywhere for my keys. I could not find them. Finally, I get them and they weren't working. Like usually you just press the button and it starts. My car like wouldn't start. My keys are right there in my hand. I'm like, what is happening? My car is new. I don't get it. But I was like, oh my God, somebody is making, like this is happening for a reason. Like maybe I'm avoiding a car accident or something. But anyway, it caused me to be late to yoga. So I walk in and the place is packed. I guess everyone's 
New Year's resolutions or something. So I had like no place to go. Like I almost left, but I'm like, you know what, F it, let's go. So I'm like this, like this close to somebody else and there's like a man and a nice lady and I'm like right behind some girl and we're like looking, eye contact each other in the mirror. It's like awkward, like, no, I just want to like be in my own zone. If I would have got here on time, I could have had my best spot right there. So it was awkward, but if I was more punctual, I could have avoided it all. I don't know really how that applies because then again I do think it was meant to be that I was late this morning but I think that if I would have you know consistently been more on time getting a good spot in yoga is the point I'm trying to say get a good spot in yoga so that you can take advantage of that experience as much as you want so that your kid is not that tardy kid in class that you have to like get out of your car and go sign into the office and everyone looks while you guys walk in late and you're like hi yeah i don't want to do that i've missed flights i've missed multiple flights this past year because i was late to the airport hawaiian airlines workers in kona i love you guys because you guys have saved me so many times from missing even more flights so i'm gonna work on that more punctual okay i'm gonna share two more i want to call my friends more especially right now with my wedding like i'm blessed to have 11 best friends i have even more i call them but i have 11 bridesmaids and you know they're the all each of them loves me but i'm the kind of friend i'm sure that we don't talk all the time we don't talk like even once a week like we maybe once a month hopefully and hopefully you see each other because they're scattered throughout the country and and then you know we all have kids and lives and we text but call you know like it's something special or meet up for a coffee or something like i think that when we do our bachelor at party and we get to everyone's flying in like for me like i'm so honored and excited uh i'm gonna rejuvenate those connections the connections that made us best friends in the first place and i want to just be more consistent i want to send their kids birthday presents and stuff like i know it's hard but that kind of stuff makes me really happy and i have so much gratitude toward my friends because they helped make me who I am. So anyway, that's my other ones. Call my friends or call, I'll put call slash see my friends more. And family, I think is a good one. Um, okay, I'm gonna share one more with you. I had written down a few, but I'm gonna share one more with you. Uh, yoga. Yoga is my fit. I love yoga. Yoga, 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 yoga. It is the bomb. Um, Bikram yoga specifically has been my a favorite. I, five years, six, seven years ago when I lived in Hawaii Kai, I used to go to Bikram yoga Hawaii Kai and that like changed my life. Like it really did. It was an emotional roller coaster every single class that you take and the people in there it was like stinky and nasty at first but then eventually you're just like whew we're going through like the trenches together and it's just so mentally clearing and you just have to take it there in your mind pushing your limits there's always you can never like master it you always have work to do and i swear the hardest part is is clearing this part I think along with yoga, I'm going to put it under the same category, yoga and meditation, because every single person that is successful, like successful person, Oprah said it too. I'm talking about Oprah so much. Uh, she said that every person that she's interviewed that's successful, what do they all have in common? And it's that they all meditate. And I'm like, meditation? That's weird. No, but it's very important. And I sometimes don't know how to, but all you gotta do is just literally nothing. Just don't do anything. Just clear your head. Don't think. <sighs> anyway, I lost a few followers with that one. Am I scaring you? I hope not. Anyway, and I'm also not gonna be drinking um, until my wedding or until my bachelorette party actually. So that's a new one for me. It's been three days so far, so thanks. It's more so for the weight loss because God knows I need, I love wine like a lot. Anyway, guys, I hope you're having a great... Yeah, I live on the Big Island. Aloha is Jade. Hi, Sabrina Barron. Speaking of Big Island mamas, she is another... Um, another Maui... Um, sorry, another musician that lives on the Big Island. Um, Tiger Kenshin says, breathe. No, I just talk fast. It's cool. There's nothing to worry about. Um, Ralph Malani, I love you, my stylist. I wanted to call you right after this. And then, yeah, hi, you guys. Somebody, Mikey's... Mikey's too happy said congrats you sang true colors beautifully mahalo and then Miranda hi Miranda I'm gonna repost this as I usually do on my um 
YouTube channel. So you can go back in time and see anything on my YouTube channel from last year. And um, I recognize so many of you guys' names. I've had an amazing year and it's mostly because of you guys helping me get there. So thank you, thank you, thank you for all the love and support. And here's to an amazing 2020, you guys. Go, go, write this down and then share them with me. I'm gonna figure out a way that we can share them with each other. Even if it's just you copy and paste yours onto my blog post that I wanna post once I finish this. You know, you just share them with the community, with the fellow on jammers, just post yours. And that way we can like encourage each other with comments and that kind of stuff. If you don't already follow me on Anu Jammers, you should. But um, before this is over, because I'm gonna be giving away more prizes and stuff on that page. But um, before this is over, I wanted to give away some stuff because I just love you guys so much. So, first of all, this CD. A lot of you probably already have it. But if you want it, just tell me. what one of my resolutions was, if you're paying attention, what one of my resolutions was. I don't know, I'm just trying to think of something right now. <laughs> and then I'll send you the CD. First person on my end. First person on my end that I see. And I'll send you some stickers too, I got some cute ones. Look at how cute this is. Little Murphy. <gasps> oh, 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 okay, Poi Dog. Sorry, on my end it looks like Poi Dog. With two Gs. It said yoga. And that's correct, brother man. I'm gonna send you some more masculine stickers too, but I'll sign this to you. I'll DM you, okay? All right, I got a couple more prizes. Who wants this cool hat? Poi Dog's like, damn it, I want the hat. Yeah, it's just one of my A10 patches. I designed off of um, the Colleen Wilcox artwork, but I'll throw in this little five track sampler preview of the A10 album as well. Why don't you tell me how many bridesmaids I have? Sorry, poor dog. <laughs> How many bridesmaids do I have? Hey, out is mama. Hey, girl. Hey, ah, oh, Jay Hurst right behind her. Good to see you, girl. How are you, out is mama? I'm Jay Hurst. Too legit. All oh, you guys are legit, out is, out is mama. Legit, on you jammers. I love you guys. Okay, I have one more prize. Don't worry. Some may argue it's the best one. So. Are they so cute? I'm like. Fully in stock, guys. Fully in stock now. I have the all different kinds, and I have the higher than the clouds ones too. But these are little wine tumblers. I love them so much. I also have the other kind. Hold on. <coughs> you know what? These are these are like becoming my more favorite, just for like everyday use, just because of the way that they fit into my cup holder on my couch, and then for like the beach and stuff. Um, but anyway. This is not the prize. This is the prize. And this is the prize. It should be, what should it be? Why was I late to yoga this morning? Hi, babe. My fiance is watching. Yeah, we need to pick up our son, babe. <laughs> Hurry up. I love you. Anybody know why I was late to yoga this morning? I would have a Ursula! You savage. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's Ursula said. Ursula, Ursula, Ursula said it's because my car wouldn't start. Thank, nice guess, baby Jen, but no, yeah. My car wouldn't start. I guess that's technically right, but it, I couldn't find my keys. I guess my story was a little all over the place, but yeah, it was both. I like couldn't find my keys, and then once I could, it wouldn't start. So I'm gonna give it to both of you. Ursula, girl, I don't know if I should give it to you because <laughs> Ursula is my, my friend and merch girl and she's actually like coming to my wedding and stuff. So I don't know if I should give it to you because people are never gonna, they're never, they would, you know what I mean? They need this. You have one probably. <laughs> okay, but well, who is the second one? Cassie, Cassie Jane. 
Cassie Jane. K-A-S-I-E underscore J-A-N-E said, lost your keys. Yes, girl, you can have this. You can have this. Yay! All right, guys, I promise there's more. There's more stuff coming. Um, just keep on following Anu Jammers. I follow everyone back, so I love going through my Anu Jammers stream and just looking at you guys' life to kind of get to know you guys more, even though there's you know thousands of people that i follow if your picture pops up and i see something cool and i don't even know you personally but i'll, I'll like like it so you might see me creeping around your instagram and see a like from anu jammers that's it's really me and i just love you guys for everything thank you okay more more soon write your 20 for 20s have a great day everybody aloha always